outgrowth of the Copernican principle is the belief that habitable planets and complex life are abundant throughout our galaxy and the rest of the cosmos. Perhaps no scientific endeavor has been influenced more deeply by this idea than the research program called SETI. Well, SETI, which is, of course, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, is trying to do exactly that. We're searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. In other words, we're looking for aliens that are at least as clever as we are. Now, we try and do that not by trying to go there the way they do in the movies all the time or waiting for them to come here. We try and find the aliens, if you will, at home on the basis of eavesdropping on signals they might be sending our way. So we use large telescopes pointed at other star systems to try and find these telltale signs that there's some cosmic company out there. Since 1960, SETI researchers have utilized radio telescopes throughout the world to monitor transmissions from distant regions of the Milky Way. While no definitive signs of intelligent life have ever been detected, these investigations have triggered much speculation about the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations. Estimates vary all over the place. Carl Sagan thought there might be millions of civilizations that are kind of contemporaries of ours. I can imagine that within the Milky Way galaxy, the number of contemporary intelligent civilizations, I think is probably in the thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. But the bottom line, actually, when people ask, well, why do you think that they're out there, is that the universe is extraordinarily rich, extraordinarily vast. The number of stars that we can see, it's on the order of 10,000 billion billion star systems. So unless there's something very, very special, miraculous, if you will, about our solar system, about our planet Earth, unless there's something extraordinarily unusual about it, then what happened here must have happened many times uh, in, in the history of, of the universe. The assumption that habitable planets and extraterrestrial life are abundant has inspired not only the SETI program, but also the new science of astrobiology and the search for biological evidence of living organisms, past and present. Since 1995, this search has extended beyond our solar system as astrobiologists have identified more than 100 planets orbiting nearby stars. Each of them is a gas giant, much like Jupiter. While few scientists believe that these alien worlds can sustain even simple life, their discoveries represent important steps toward answering a question that will shape astronomy in the 21st century. Are habitable planets rare or common in the universe? I'm an astrobiologist, and the area that I've done the most work in lately is the field of extrasolar planets. What motivates me is just to examine the conditions necessary for life and look elsewhere in the universe and see if those conditions are met anywhere else. And the answer could be yes, and the answer could be no, and either answer is interesting. Guillermo Gonzalez works as a research scientist in NASA's astrobiology program. His interest in this field is tied to his early fascination with the prospect of life beyond the Earth. I grew up in the 1960s, and like most other people of my generation, I was really amazed by the Apollo lunar landings, and uh, that really inspired me and, uh, and had something to do with my getting interested in astronomy. In my early years, I came to believe very strongly that there must be other civilizations out there and that the galaxy was teeming with life. And so I was a strong supporter of uh, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. My belief wasn't based on any real hardcore scientific arguments. It was just the impression that I had that the galaxy was such a big place. And I didn't give the other side of the equation much thought. In other words, there's two sides of the equation. There's the number of stars, the number of trials, if you will. But the other side is the factors. It takes a lot of factors to have a habitable planet and a planetary system.